Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is me, Blair Allen, here with the Tactical Airsoft team, and today we have the video review of the HNK G36, licensed by Umarex, um, internals by Ares. Um, sort of a long name there, but um, I guess that's what they wanted to call it. So um, let's get straight on into this review. First off, it comes with a KWA little sticker you can put that on. Okay guys, so um, as you can see, this is a very beautiful gun, uh, and this is the review of the H&K G36, licensed by Umarex, and uh, internals by Ares, so if you call it whatever you want, Umarex G36 or Ares G36, whatever, or H&K. But here's the gun right here, very, very flashy looking gun, um, got this in a mystery box, uh, 100k likes um, on Facebook. Um, Paid 140 for it. Um, really happy with the results. Got a 279 dollar gun or 280, whatever you want to call it. But um, very proud and uh, just overall just a great gun. I'm really happy about it. Originally didn't really like G36s. I be I believe I liked them at one point in time, but never really fell in love with them. But now that I have one, I'm it's just it's amazing. It's not my primary, unfortunately, because I do love my GR15 Raider just a little bit more, because I customize it to my best ability. But um, this works as a amazing backup gun, or for or for most, a primary. But um, enough of my talking. Let's continue on with the review. Okay, guys. So enough of me talking, and let's get on to the review of the H&K G36 licensed by Umarex, Um and internals by Ares, or some externals. Um, so, moving back, you got your little skeleton stock right here. Over in the corner, you got your little sling point mount right there. Um, can hold slings, one point, whatever, whatever you want. You got your little folding stock. Fold it over for you. I'm not going to fold it over all the way because I'm not on that side of the weapon yet. Clocks, uh, clicks very well into place. But enough of that, let's keep moving on. Down here you got your nice little uh, pistol grip, um, made of polymers as well as the rest of the body. Um, there's very few metal parts on this gun just because the real G36 does not full metal at all. So they're trying to go for realism there. Um, moving up, you got your little selector switch. You got safe, semi-automatic, and fully automatic. Moving over. You got your pistol, you got your trigger, and you got your trigger guard. Um, the uh, the trigger guard is molded into the pistol grip as well as into the magwell, so it's kind of hard to uh, change it. Well, it's basically impossible unless you get a whole different lower receiver. Um, but I don't see why you'd need to because it is slightly enlarged and can uh, hold up with with gloves or fairly large gloves. Um, moving over, you got your low, you got your magazine well. Um, of course, fits for G36 mags. Um, gun does come with a 430 round high capacity wind up mag. Um, I guess no feeding problems yet. Uh, that's always a good sign. Moving over, you got your trademarks. H it says H and K G36 C caliber six millimeter BB, and then your own personal serial number. In my case, it's 10HO1560. So that's pretty nice. Okay, here, let's move over. I'm, I highly doubt that you could see those, but I believe it says here, let me see it. I believe it says warning and then refer to instruction manual. Right there. So, some more trademarks. Right there. Let's zoom out a little bit right here. Okay, so now that we've gone over that part, let's move up. Got your charging handle. It is ambidextrous. You can pull back from either side. Left or right. Either way works. Um, I, this gun also does have a bolt catch. Underneath this little trigger thing, it does. There's a little button. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, there's a little button right there. I'm probably pushing up on it right now, but 
what you do is basically here let's try and get these both into two different views you pull your charging handle back and then press up on that button and then your bolt should catch or that didn't make any sense your bolt should catch um yeah but basically that's what it does and here let me do it again very quick just to show you how to release it Slightly, simply pull back on your charging handle you should hear a little click and then just release so it's very nice um, especially for left handed and right handed shooters and for adjusting your hop up I'll get to that when we get to the other side you got your nice uh, polymer handguard um, it's pretty small um, but you can buy uh, enlarged ones if you want to stick a better battery or a bigger battery in there um, to me it looks pretty ugly so I'm not going to stick it on there but this this can hold up to a very very small 9.6 volt maybe like a 9.6 nunchuck that's what I'm running in it uh, barely fits but try not to go any larger than that um, I believe my battery's got like 8 cells or something like that but moving on you got your little rails you got left and right rails as well as a bottom rail I right now have a grip pod on there just because for the sake of the review holding up the weapon and I think it looks pretty cool so moving over even more you got your um, blazing orange tip right here with your imitation gas tube above it um, I believe it is uh, clockwise clockwise threads because Ares does have clockwise threads for most of their guns or if not all of their guns uh, of course imitation gas tube up top you got your rail up here you got built-in sight built-in rear and front sights this rail is long enough to put any optics of your choosing even a uh, scope here let, here is a let me show you this as I line up the sights very quick or you got where's the other one there we go zoom in on this there's your sights sights do have elevation and windage with the Al with the allen keys that came with this rifle there's allen key spots up top and on the sides for elevation and windage um, but move, let's move on to the other side okay so of course ambidextrous so it's on both sides good for lefties um, your magazine release is underneath just pull that forward and your mag will come out as you see it just did whatever I'm just gonna leave it there Unless the camera's, camera's gonna wobble but um, let me show you an example of the bolt catch let's bring it over to the left side there we go there's your bolt catch enables your little hop up wheel right over here so um, really nice Aries internals expect good things from there as well as we have more tr more um, trademarks over here probably not gonna read that cuz it's long and it's Umarex really cool so um, yeah this is basically the gun right here guys um, I just wanted to say thank you guys all for watching um, sorry about the last couple reviews and videos haven't been keeping up very well I tried to make this one as best as I possibly can try and impress you guys. So, um, I apologize and I hope to see you guys at the uh, internet web show or online web show um, from Vocal.com with Chris from Modern Airsoft and maybe even Airsoft California. So, um, thank you for watching and I will hope to see you later. Peace out, subscribe, rate, comment, request, and goodbye.